As your week continues, you will need to view both the instruction and the live lecture. Although they are not graded, they will give you information that can be used to complete your other assignments, such as learning activities. View the instruction early in the week and make notes while you watch it. Simply click Next to continue through the instruction piece. It is a good idea to write down any questions you have so you can ask your instructor either by Moodle message or during the live lecture. Here you can see your progress through the instruction. On the right, you view the different topics the instruction goes over. After you finish the instruction, you can also go back and view any topic by just clicking it. If you are having any difficulties with how the instruction is set up, click on the Interface Help button for additional assistance. Live lectures occur every week in your course. Check the course announcements page in your course to see when the live lectures are scheduled. Click on the course announcements link in the classroom and see what information the instructor has given. As seen here, the instructor has a set time every week for the live lectures. Not all courses will have the same time every week, so check the course announcements page frequently for updates. If you can attend live, we encourage you to do so, but if you can't, the lecture is recorded for you so you can watch it at your convenience. As seen in the middle of the screen, this is where the instructor can share different material with you, such as PowerPoint presentations. On the top is the video of your instructor. Below that is the attendee list. You might recognize some of your fellow classmates attending, and below that is a chat pod where you can ask questions and interact with other students. The icon at the bottom will bring up a menu of different actions that your instructor and others can see. Again, it is a good idea to write down any questions and either ask your instructor during the live lecture or Moodle message the instructor and he or she will get back to you. First, click on the learning activity to view the assignment and start thinking about how you would like to answer the question or questions. Look back over the notes from the instruction and live lecture to see if you can use any of that information. Also note that some activities will have requirements such as how many words your paper should have once it is complete. In addition, you should use your book to help assist you in answering the learning activity. Once again, we will use Microsoft Word to answer the question. After you have completed the learning activity in Microsoft Word, go into the learning activity in your virtual classroom. Click on the Browse button to find the Word document you saved in your schoolwork folder. Highlight the document and then select Open. As seen here, the document's name is now next to the Upload button. After that, click on Upload this file and your assignment has been turned in so the instructor can grade it. Please view Starting Successfully Session 4 for information on how to complete your weekly assessment. Thank you.